I am a linoleum printmaker and a Michigan artist. And I'm talking to you from my a studio up in Presque Isle. And Presque Isle is a northern city in Michigan using our handy map, it's right here. And almost all of my art is of nature and it is from the inspiration that I receive up here in northern Michigan. So as a, a linoleum printmaker, what I do is I carve linoleum and I have some blocks I can show you. So here is a Monstera block. So I take a blank sheet of linoleum and with these tools here, these are gouges and you can see the different sizes. I have uh, about 15 different gouges and I carve the linoleum. This is a very simple block that I'm starting with, some very simple cuts. And then using what's called a brayer. This is a, a rolling tool, just like you would roll paint on your walls. I apply ink. I use Cranfield inks. They are inks from Great Britain, very lovely inks to use. And I roll the ink onto the block. And then I take a sheet of paper and apply it to the block like that. And then using this very familiar tool here, a wooden spoon, I burnish it. So some printmakers um, use other tools to burnish for large blocks. I also have a large press. This is a block that I made of a bicycle. I call this block 1977 and you can see that it's um, a banana seat bike. So there's quite a bit of detail that you can see there and this uh, this is the the evidence of the lino the linoleum being carved away. So the print prints um, what is not in relief. So this is carved away and I made another <coughs> boys version of the same block. So this has ink applied to it and what this does is this shows me where I have too much carved away linoleum still showing. So you can see here that there's still quite a bit. So this is actually a work in progress still, this boys version of 1977. I did uh, print the girls version and this is printed on linen. So this piece of linen will be appliqued to a pillow and my, my pillows are uh, probably one of my more popular items that sell at art fairs and in holiday shows. And then I'll get a little close there. I hand colored the blooms that are coming out of the basket there. And you can see also the detail in the basket. So this block here took me about five days to carve, not 12 hours a day, but over, over the course of, of time. So some other things that I have here to show you. This is the um, lower peninsula only, and my apologies to my upper peninsula friends. I do do art with the, with the UP. This particular piece is called Michigan, and it's a double block. So the way that this is produced is first, we have this plain block here, and I apply a colored ink onto it. So uh, often like a lake uh, blue or a pine green. And then I take and I push that onto the paper. I burnish it, I print it. And then this is the, uh, you can kind of see there's like a knitted detail in it. So this prints on top of the color and then it's a, so it's a two block print and those are fun too. So that's one way to bring color. So I showed you hand coloring, I showed you a double block print. This is a block specifically taken from um, a photograph up here when I was kayaking. And it's a singular block of, these are uh, blackbirds in Bell Bay. And then the, the block prints without those color details in the wings. So it prints, prints in plain black and white. And then I take it after it prints and I color those wing details in. And this has been um, in galleries and this is one of my personal artist favorite prints that I have created. I can show you the, the process of, of printing from beginning to end. So this is a sketch. Let's see if I can get it to show, there we go. So um, I call this sketch Clover Babies and I made this uh, right around Mother's Day this year. I have two children and we used to have a huge yard in Royal Oak, which is where my um, 
where I've lived most of my life. And we used to let the grass grow and let the little babies uh, grow and play in the yard. So I made this uh, design. And then from there, I carved the linoleum. Let's see if I can get it to show there. You might be able to see it a bit. So the bunnies don't show really well in this, but you can see the block and the flowers. And then here is the resulting print. Okay, so as a printmaker, I print in limited editions and printmaker's work is actually sometimes referred to as multiple originals, which means that every print that you get like this, which is a direct result of a print that's made with ink and a brayer, it's not digital, they're, they're original prints. So as such, you are purchasing an original piece of art. Um, I've been attending art fairs all my life, including when I was a girl and always wanted to buy art. So naturally, when I was 13 years old, I couldn't afford a $500 piece of art. Uh, when I began my art career, it was important to me to be able to make affordable art. And as a printmaker, that allows me to do that. So my prints range uh, beginning around $25, and then they go up to, uh, I'll show you one of my largest, this print here sells for just under $100. So this print is um, 18 by 18. It's my most recent work and is very complex. So these, it's actually made of five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, that were carved individually on smaller pieces of linoleum very carefully cut out and then puzzled together. So I made a, a English tiger swallowtail, which is what this block is. And I have a print of the morning cloak. This is actually a proof. It's, it's flawed, so I did not uh, put it in final form, but this is how large the print is of the morning cloak. So those larger prints um, sell for more. Uh, and but they are in a limited edition. So I currently edition all of my prints at 99. Some printmakers go to 150 or 200 and some stop at 15. And the number of the edition uh, will uh, affect the value of the print. So some of the printmakers I follow on Instagram that might make 12 or 15, their prints, they sell them for several hundred dollars. At a 99 print edition, I can Keep, try to keep mine to under a hundred dollars. Um, you can actually feel the relief of the ink on the paper and that's one way that you can tell that it is an original print. You can actually feel the ink on the paper and I have uh, textiles, so things for the home, accessories, all of my prints framed and unframed and that's the best way to see any artist's work is at a live show. I also sell on Etsy and I have a website, bigmittenlinocuts.com. That's my artist company name, Big Mitten Line of Cuts. And uh, so you can always check me out there. Otherwise, I will see you at the show.